What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 11 in our Gem Editor tutorial series in Gates of Hell. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to be looking at animations. Um, so in this, this episode, you're going to be learning how to uh, play a single animation. You'll learn how to loop the animation. You'll also learn how to play multiple animations at the same time. And you'll also learn how to randomize those multiple animations. Um, before we get into it, just note that we are using the same scene and the same setup as the previous video, uh, just because it makes more sense to use this as we were doing talking command. So the animations today, we're going to be using the talking animations. Um, so let's get into it. All right. So that means we're going to be using the same tag that we used for the talking command, which was officer underscore talk. All right, you can use whatever tag you like. All right, next thing we need is the animations. If you press the letter U, come down to call function. Um, yours will have nothing here, but you just click any, uh, any play, click the drop down box, uh, and it'll probably start you up here. All you have to do is you can type in ID, and it takes you down to the idle section. Scroll down until you see stand underscore talk. Click the first one. Now, if you want to see the animation before you progress through, uh, you can click the call button and it actually plays the animation in real time. So you can go through and pick the ones you like. Awesome. Once you're happy, control A, control C, close. Come to the triggers tab, come down to your commands tab, right click, add actor animation. The selector will be the tag that we gave the officer. Uh, drop down box, just leave it. Um, as I previous, previously mentioned in the other video, I don't know how to use these or what they're used for, so just leave them. Copy and paste the animations here and leave the rest at default. If you come down the flags here and click the drop down box, you have two options, loop and random. Now to enable these, you need to click the gray box. Once it's turned white as seen, uh, that will tell you that the loop or random command is enabled, okay? So let's just do loop for now because we've only got the one animation. Click OK. Control S to save your mission. Click Start. He's playing the animation. There you go. All right. We can make that look even better by moving the animation command further up uh, underneath the delay command. So let's do that before I forget. Oops. Move that up underneath the delay command. So it'll be a delay of two seconds. He'll play the animation, then he'll talk, delay two seconds, and then talk again. All right. Let's do the multiple animations now. Before we do that, I'm going to show you uh, two other animations, talking animations that we'll be using. Uh, and I want to show you the difference so you can identify them when we play the scenario after we've done the changes. So again, press the letter U, call function. Make sure you have your unit selected. There we go. All right, what we're going to do is you can use a scroll wheel if you like, um, but go to talking animation three. We're going to click call. And you can see what he does at the end. He like scratches his leg with his other leg. 
So that is your identifier for animation three. Next one will be animation four. Now you can see his left hand does a lot of moving and it points to the left hand side. So I'll play it one more time. Sometimes the animations like go in slow mo, just um, play a different animation and then go back to it. Yeah. So his left hand does a lot of moving. That's how you identify it. All right. So click close. Come to the animations command. What you're gonna do is just copy and paste this one. So Control C. Then click spacebar. Control V. Change the number one to three. Spacebar. Control V. Change the number one four. Then what we're gonna do is come down to where it says loop or the drop down box. We're gonna leave loop enabled and we're going to enable randomize. Sweet. Now click OK. Save your mission again. And let's watch it. There you go. So you've seen animation one, three, and four. So it's currently animation one. That's uh, sorry. That's animation four now. And animation three. Very simple. Uh, looks really good in your missions. Um, you know, if you want doing a cinematic scene or just some ambience, uh, whatever it may be, it looks really good. Um, it's not too difficult. Um, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and the next video, we're going to be looking at how to do voice acting uh, in your missions. So adding text animations and voice acting uh, to bring it all together um, will be in the next video. So uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, that that uh, helps me out a lot. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.